Area Public School District Board met to discuss updates to its facilities master plan. The district prepared a projected breakdown for the cost of a school referendum, and then they discussed whether to close the district office building and move employees elsewhere. And a first alert update, Samantha Cavalli joins us in the newsroom with more details on what she learned during tonight's meeting. Samantha. Well, Bill and Cammie, as tonight was a work session, no decisions were made. One of the major talking points was the breakdown of the proposed $150 million referendum. But another major talking point, however, was the district presenting a project planning guide to the board regarding the possible closure of the district office building. Recently, the board voted to remove the task force's recommendation to move the district offices into West High School. As the board wanted to see the impact of closing or keeping open the district, offices would cost. In the report, 65% of district office staff work at the DOB primarily full time. 35% of the district staff works primarily throughout the district in different schools. Some board members are wondering what is the big deal with wanting to close the building as others want to uh, close the building while others want to close it. The board president, Laura McCoy, wanted to remind everyone the reasoning why they are talking about this and they have way more building capacity than they have students. This long, hard, year long process is to save it to become more efficient, to stop hemorrhaging money into buildings that are half full. That's not one of this building isn't one of those buildings. Um, it isn't half full. It's completely full and functions. McCoy followed by saying if there are fewer buildings, then they can offer more to the students. She, like many other board members, want to put this discussion to rest, which could happen at its next board meeting in two weeks. Bill? Samantha, thank you. Green Bay's